And so when you think about building software today, whether you're vibe coding or not, often there are libraries available, open source uh, you know, libraries available that you can quickly uh, scaffold a solution by reaching into NPM packages mm. or, or, you know, Python libraries or, you know, you know, you name it like the Laravel PHP, all the, this entire world of, of, of these libraries. And often we include dozens, maybe hundreds of, of required, you know, pieces of, of code that, uh, and these libraries are often maintained. Um, but any developer will tell you, you know, when you run an NPM, uh, and, and a node package manager, you know, command for, for JavaScript, let's say, and you, and you pull in these libraries. A lot of times you see these warnings go by like, Hey, there's a vulnerability here. That thing is whatever. Yes. And you kind of ignore it. Right. The software bill of materials or the S bomb as it's, <laughs> as we're going <laughs> to, we're going to start to refer to, which I think is so great, but the S bomb means that uh, requirement means that when you produce a, 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 a digital product of some sort, websites, let's say plugin, whatever, any library that you've pulled in that you didn't originate with, uh, or, or maybe you originated it, like you have to include a bill of materials that identifies every piece of software included. Mm -hmm.